Welcome to The Pulse with Peter B. I'm your host, Peter Biancomano. Let's get you to The Pulse on everything you need to know. And we're here at Hoboken High School, located at 800 Clinton Street in the beautiful city of Hoboken, New Jersey, as we continue our Hoboken Public School District monthly segments. And joining us, making his Pulse premiere, is a person that needs absolutely no introduction, because I think I've known you, what? Well, it's got to be over 10 years or Quite so. Quite some time. Exactly. And that is Mr. Chris Delafave, who is the director, or director, because who says director, right, of innovative programs at the Hoboken Public School District. Chris, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me on. Exactly. Well, we're very, very excited because we are in the brand new innovative lab here at the high school. Talk to me about what uh, when this opened, and what was the idea behind opening it? So, uh, first of all, it's a pleasure to be on. So, thank you so much. And so, we are in the Innovation Lab at Hoboken High School. Uh, this kind of started out as a, a dream and a wish a few months back. So, this project went relatively quickly. And we moved from July, really, to now, um, in the end of November, to really get this launched for our students. So, we are sitting in what would be the classroom setting structure of the innovative lab. And if you were to move around the classroom here, you would see a, a host of different things. So all related to innovation, design process, thinking, uh, things that get students really, truly geared for 21st century learning and beyond. So uh, be a little more specific in terms of innovation. What can students learn here specifically? Ah, uh, it's wonderful. So that's a great question because right now we don't know what we don't know. Mm -hmm. Right. And so students, when they get out into the real world, the job market is ever changing. Right. And so we can't necessarily predict what students need. We can't predict what the world needs tomorrow. Right. But what we can do is think critically about it. And critical thinking is simply thinking about your thinking. Right. And so within the design lab, um, what the students will be engaged in is a, a design thinking process that will teach them how to be creative, teach them th how to infuse technology and science into a program, into a, a problem-based scenario with constraints that are designed to spark creativity, uh, designed to find a product for a problem, take that product to market, find a budget for it, and then potentially find people out there willing to either purchase or move forward with their programs, or scrap it all. Start from the very beginning, so that way a new idea is born, a new idea is birthed. That is really, really cool. I mean, they could possibly, there's a possibility they can make a profit before they actually have a high school diploma. I mean, that, I mean that's the whole goal. The, goal right. the idea here is to truly get kids who are passionate about thinking critically, passionate about innovation and science and tech, and blend all of these things together into a what I like to call the entrepreneurialism space. So they're taking these problems, taking things that they see, taking passions that they have, and being able to create. And so it's not about what you want to become here. It's about what you want to do right now. Wow, that is awesome. That is really, really awesome. And Mr. Delafave, you mentioned that students can create their own new product. Why is it important that they learn these skills now before going on to secondary education and so on and so forth? So that's a great, great question, great follow-up question, because it's not just about the secondary education. Although it's a critical component about what we do here, it's also about the workforce. It's also about um, sovereignty of, of, our, of our students' uh, economics and thinking. So you have this kind of trifold approach, right, where you have the idea of sovereignty, becoming an entrepreneur. You have the idea of going into higher education to learn the skills that you may need to, uh, to land a job. And you also have the workforce who is uh, in critical need of people who have skills prior to entering, right? And so mm. you have the ability here in this innovation space to not only tinker with CAD design and 3D printing, um, modeling and remodeling different concepts um, and prototypes, but you also have the ability to understand budgeting and financing. So this kind of goes beyond a, a singular approach of just preparing students for college. This truly is kind of a buckshot of different concepts brought together to help better students, not just today, but moving forward into the future with skills that they develop here and now, so that way they could start here and now. 
not worry about tomorrow, but move out into the workforce so that way these are our students, these are our future, these are the kids who are really like moving the dial, like getting the buck going about like what they want to do, moving the community, moving the problems further into the distant future with the designs and creations that they make. Well, Mr. Delafave, the Director of Innovative Programs here in the Hoboken Public School District, congratulations on this wonderful Thank facility. You, we are going to come back from a quick commercial break and interview the coordinator and one of the teachers here. So we're excited about that. So. Wonderful. Thank you so much for having me on. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll be back. All right. As promised, we're now here with Mr. Manny Fernandez, who is the coordinator of science, technology, innovation, and entrepreneurship. And he didn't think I was going to get that all uh, during that quick break. <laughs> Manny, great seeing you. Good seeing you. Absolutely. Well, Mr. Fernandez, thank you for having us here. Might I add, love the coat. Thanks. Yeah. Custom made. I, I can tell. <laughs> it has the Hoboken Public School District. Very, very nice. So uh, Mr. Delafave really went over an overview of what students can expect of, of this program program and what parents can expect that their students will learn in this program and so on and so forth. But if I'm a student sitting in one of these awesome rotating desks that you have here, what can I expect throughout the marking period? Well, uh, we start out the beginning of the year uh, talking about design thinking and the process of uh, ideation and where ideas come from. And a lot of it has to do with like understanding markets and understanding our end users. But another aspect of it is just getting up and doing it. Um, a lot of students sometimes don't feel that they have the skills or the imagination or creativity possible. So the beginning is saying, hey, you do have this. You've had this all along. Uh, one of the first uh, talks that we have is when, you, when they were little kids, when they were like two, three, four, five, all the way up, they would take a cardboard box and they didn't see a cardboard box. Mm -hmm. They saw a car. They saw a house. They saw a submarine. And it's about awakening that um, imagination, that creativity that they had when they were younger and saying, hey, take that creativity that you had and now implement it on becoming a change maker in the world today. That is very, very cool. And I know this is the first year that the Innovation Lab has opened. Um, and obviously the students are probably in the learning aspect of it, right? Yeah. And then they'll get into the more of the hands-on of creating a product or so on and so forth. But by the end of the marking period or by the end of the year, let's just say, mm -hmm. what do you expect your, your current students to actually produce? So uh, we've had a couple of mini build challenges. Uh, one Very of the first ones they did was a design a board game for either uh, somebody new to the community or somebody new to the Hoboken High School community. So this challenge was, hey, come up with a board game, take any of the board games that already exist and make up make your own twist, make your own version of it. And some of the students made a version of like, guess who, where it was the teachers instead of just random people. And they had to identify who the teacher was, what subject they were in their classroom. Uh, other students took Monopoly and made it a Hoboken version and either had some of the local businesses uh, being some of the properties or the, uh, the train stations and the ferries and stuff like that. Uh, and currently now we're working on our steam tank uh, project submission. Uh, the Steam Tank is a uh, competition that's held every year through the Army Corps of Engineers and the School Board Association of New Jersey. And it's basically a shark tank for uh, elementary, middle, and high school students. And yeah. Who are the judges? Uh, well, it's, <laughs> it's mainly the Army Corps of Engineers and uh, the School Board Association of New Jersey. So. Much tougher than the judges you see on uh, CNBC, correct? They, you know, I, 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 would, I would definitely say so. Exactly. We have about a, less than a minute uh, to go, uh, Mr. Fernandez here. If I'm a student, why do I want to participate in, in any type of course that the Innovation Lab is teaching? I think, you know, one thing that between COVID and just the way that the world has been changing is that we need more people doing instead of just sitting back and thinking and talking. And a lot of times when somebody doesn't feel like they have the skills or they have the ability, uh, it prevents them from acting. So we want to turn our students into doers, not just thinkers, not just sayers, but people that will actually try and attempt. And a lot of times they might not be successful, but we try to instill in them a rigor so that they'll continue to keep working forward so that failure is not the end, just a stepping stone on the way to success. Well, Mr. Mini Fernandez, thank you. Congratulations on the thank opening so up on this lab to you. And of course, Director Chris Felif, uh, Delafave, sorry, sorry, Chris. <laughs> um, and uh, best of luck this uh, year. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Sure. Appreciate it. All right, folks, we will be right back.